This is the download from Sounds Profitable, your daily source for the essential news of the business of podcasting. Brought to you by Spreaker from iHeart. I'm Tom Webster. Here's what you need to know for today, Tuesday, October 3rd. First, from Insider Intelligence, streaming video and music are among Gen Z's most popular media activities. New data from eMarketer ranks the daily media activities conducted by Gen Z adults, that's ages 18 to 26, according to eMarketer, weighted compared to all respondents 18 and over. The top activity is watching video streaming services with 46% of Gen Z adult respondents. That's 8% higher than total adults. Gen Z adults are 7% less likely to listen to AM, FM radio, but are 6% more likely to watch a video podcast 7% more likely to listen to an audiobook, and eke out a 1% lead in listening to podcasts. From Tinkercast, a free podcast program is coming to classrooms. Kids podcasts, in fact, are coming to the classroom. Guy Raz and Mindy Thomas, award-winning creators of the kids podcast Wow in the World, have teamed up with former PBS Kids Sprout and Sesame Workshop leader Meredith Happern-Ranzer to launch an educational podcast program. Designed to work with classes using Google Classroom and Seesaw, the Tinker Class program pairs 15-minute ad-free versions of Wow in the World episodes with guided in-class projects, which are dubbed, get this, projects. Projects like Tinker Class offer the dual benefit of introducing kids to podcasts in a fun and engaging way, while also demonstrating the educational utility of the platform. From the ADL, over the past summer, the Anti-Defamation League conducted an investigation by searching 130 terms connected to organized white supremacism and anti-Semitism from their glossary of extremism. Of the four major social media platforms sampled, YouTube had the highest hit rate on running paid advertisements on search results for extremist content. Search results included ads from brands like Walmart, Amazon, and Wayfair. X, formerly Twitter, came in second place, returning a lower hit rate than YouTube. Facebook and Instagram seem to have mostly solved this issue as the ADL could only find a handful of ads on the 130 search terms. In addition to calling for regulatory action to add transparency to advertising, the ADL calls for the advertising industry to improve ad placement tech to avoid placing ads on hate content. While no system is perfect, Podcasting has the brand safety and suitability tech to identify and avoid such content on a consistent basis. The New York Times reports that WNYC's parent is going to cut 12% of its workforce. New York Public Radio, the nonprofit that operates WNYC, the Gothamist, and classical music station WQXR, announced this morning that they're cutting workforce by 12%. The memo from New York Public Radio president and CEO LaFontaine Oliver said the decision is due to a freefall in the advertising market. In response to the announcement, the New York Public Radio Union has launched a social media campaign calling for donations to NYPR and signatures on a petition to stop the layoffs. While NYPR situation might seem counter to headlines claiming the ad industry, ad industry is recovering from recession fears, it's worth noting that public media operates under stricter limitations, and organizations like NYPR can have a harder time pursuing the latest trends. We have a data snapshot today from Triton and Signal Hill Insights. Nearly a quarter of new podcast listeners are Hispanic. And what that means is that more than half, or 53%, of Hispanic adults who listen to podcasts monthly say they started listening in the past year versus 42% for non-Hispanic monthly listeners. Why it's cool? Consistent with these results, Hispanics represent a growing proportion of monthly podcast listeners, from 19% of all monthly podcast listeners in the second quarter of 2021 to 20% in the second quarter of 2022, and now to 21% in the third quarter of this year. Be sure to check out the links to every article mentioned right in your podcast listening app or at soundsprofitable.com, where you can also subscribe to the newsletter version. The download is written and produced by Brian Barletta, Gavin Gaddis, and me. This episode is hosted on Art19. For Sounds Profitable, I'm Tom Webster. Download us again tomorrow.